Uh, we have got George on line one. Hi there, George. How are you? Um, I'm OK, thanks. How are you? Good, very well, thank you. Thank you for talking to us. No worries. Do thanks you talk me. to yourself? Pardon? Do you talk to yourself? Yeah, I actually realised it mostly uh, yesterday in the supermarket. While I'm looking at things, deciding what things to buy, like what cheese, what washing powder and stuff like that, I'm rabbiting away from myself. And then suddenly people look at me and then, and then suddenly, oh, well, I've got to stop talking to myself. But I say that out loud, you know. <laughs> and then, and the supermarkets really bring it out uh, quite a bit. But I've also, I've, I wrote a letter to myself once before, which is a bit of a funny story. And I email myself sometimes when I don't get an email for a while. But, but I mean, about, I mean, you do you sort of write a letter say, you know, remember to go shopping, remember to uh, do the washing? Was, a few years ago, I was a bit naughty and I ended up in prison. And right. I wrote a letter to myself because I had some spare paper and that. And then um, I got home before the letter arrived. And then I got the letter and I thought, well, this writing looks familiar. And I opened it up and it said, hello, George, this is George. How are you? Well, 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 I should be getting out soon when we go out. We'll have a nice booze up and stuff like that. Um, and, and it took me a couple of seconds to realise, you know. Um, I just thought, I just thought, maybe I should do it. Maybe I should wear earphones constantly, and then people might think yeah. I am on the phone, isn't it? Hey, listen, George, you did that instinctively about the letter. That was a brilliant mm. thing to do. Well, you know, you. just gives you time to sort of sit down, put your thoughts down, and then reread them. Yeah. Listen, I think you've got write a book, man. You've got something yeah. there, absolutely. Well done, George. The first time I ever went to New York, I was terrified. I don't know why. I just thought it was the scariest place in the world. And so I walked up and down all these streets, talking to myself, because I thought, well, if there's nutters out there, they think I'm a bigger nutter, they're not going to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else, Amy? Yeah, um, our next caller is uh, Ruth on line two. Hi there, Ruth, how are you? Oh, are you speaking to me? <laughs> no, I'm speaking to myself, Ruth. Hello. Yeah. I am. Well, um, I want to say that uh, talking to oneself is not a madness. Uh, when I talk to myself, I free the inner true self, which no one else knows. I can say things to myself which I wouldn't dare say to anyone else. I talk to myself a great deal because now I live alone and I have no one to share my life with. I tell myself how beautiful my lovely garden is, or when I have fulfilled the many daily tasks, I praise myself, or when I feel unhappy or pleased, I tell myself about it. It releases the lonely mind when well, no Ruth, one else is there to share the day. I, I, again, Ruth, so instinctively, a very great thing yeah, that you're it's doing so there. It's as well. It's absolutely. absolutely brilliant, and you should yeah. keep doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much for that, Ruth. There you go. Isn't it funny that the oddest wee topics and get everybody kind of going, doesn't it? And we're all doing it. We're a nation of talkers to ourselves. After the break, divvying up after divorce.